Hello, and welcome to Episode 7 of Rivers Arcade Review. My name is Ed. This channel is dedicated to the coin-operated video games of yesteryear. Today I will be reviewing one of my favorite games, Cubert. Cubert was released in 1982 by the company Gottlieb. My first time playing this game was at Western Trails Mini Golf and Arcade in Oaklawn, Illinois. In this game, you control an orange character named Hubert by moving him around a three-dimensional pyramid trying to change the cube faces to the target color by avoiding enemies. You control Hubert with a four-way joystick, although this joystick is rotated 45 degrees since you only move in diagonals. In Cubert, you jump around a seven-level pyramid with 28 steps that you need to jump onto to change it to the target color. Although there are others on the screen that hinder your progress. First of all, there are red balls that fall from the top and drop randomly until they fall off the bottom. There is also a purple ball that falls similarly to the red one, but when it lands on the bottom, it will turn into Coily the Snake, who will then follow you around the pyramid. Ugg is a purple enemy that appears from the bottom right of the pyramid and travels on the sides of the cubes and Rontway is also a purple enemy that appears from the lower left of the pyramid and similarly to Ugg, travels on the side of the cubes, although this time on the left side of the cube and travels to the right. Running into any of these items will cause the loss of a life. If you fall off the pyramid, you will also lose a life. There are also two green characters named Slick and Sam that travel down from the top of the pyramid changing the color of the top of the cube, although they undo the progress by changing the color back to a previous color. Running into Slick and Sam will stop their nuisance changing the colors of the cubes and you will gain 300 points. Cubert offers one power-up which is a green ball that falls similarly to the red one. If you catch the green ball, all enemies freeze for several seconds and you become invulnerable. You are now able to jump through the enemies and it gives you a few free seconds to complete the pyramid. Another defense you have against Coily is you can jump on one of the spinning discs and Coily will follow you and fall off the pyramid and you will be transported to the top. You are limited in number of transport discs per round so use them strategically. You receive a 50 point bonus for every unused disc, but you'll get 500 points for luring Coily off the pyramid so it's more advantageous to use them. Cubert advances levels every time you complete four rounds with increasing challenges per level. For the first level, you need to land on each cube only one time. On level 2, you need to land on each cube twice. On level 3, you need to land on each cube one time, but if you land on it a second time, the color changes back to the original color. On level 4, you need to land on each cube twice, but if you land on it a third time, the cube returns to a neutral color and you must land on it again to bring it back to the target color. On level 5, you need to land on each cube twice to change it to the target color, but if you land on it a third time, it changes back to the original color and you must start over again. Level 6 and above is the same as level 5 except a faster speed. You receive bonus points for completing each round starting with 1,000 points and increasing by 250 until you reach the maximum of 5,000 points. I really enjoy playing Cubert and still play it off in both MAME and in the field when I come across an actual Cubert cabin. I highly recommend this game because it's fun as well as challenging. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to hit like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos.